So today we are going to be running some benchmarks and also going to be playing some games on the Honor Magic Book X16. By the way, before starting with the video, I just want to clarify that this is not for gaming. If you're going to buy it for gaming, don't buy it. Simple as that. I don't want to waste anyone's time. If you're going to buy it for gaming, you can do casual gaming like that, like for example CSGO or Rocket League and things like that. Any eSport title, it works for the most part and works pretty well. Uh, but if you're going to play games on it, don't buy this. That's my uh, verdict. And if you want to know more about it, uh, you can continue with this video. First of all, let's start off with some of the benchmarks. So let's start off with the crystal disk mark. And here are some of the numbers. To be honest with you, um, you know, these are just numbers. Uh, at the end of the day, you know, uh, it's an NVMe SSD. It'll be good enough for anyone. So here are the sequentials at uh, 3520 and 1740 and 1675 and this is the random reader writes is um, 839 and 703 and 51 and 242 so that's about it for crystal disk mark let's move on to the next one that is the blender so some people had asked me you know how does it work with blender so i run just a benchmark over here so basically run these uh you know three samples one is the monster junk shop and classroom and here is the 65, 28, and 21. So that's about that. So, and let's move on to the next one. That is Unigen Heaven. And uh, here I have it. So in Unigen Heaven, you get uh, 27 FPS with score of 679, with min FPS of 19, and max FPS of 54. And uh, let's move on to the next one. That is Cinnamonch. Uh, let's move on to Cinnamonch. Yes, so in Cinnamon, you get a score of a uh, multi score score of 6, 1, 1, 1, or triple 1, and the single score of uh, 1, 5, 0, 6. So, um, it's, if you see over here, this is the chart itself if you want uh, any more information regarding that. So, that's about that as per the benchmarks are concerned. I didn't want to waste much time uh, of yours, you know, running these benchmarks and then you're looking at the benchmarks running. It's, it's really a waste of time. So, uh, what I'm going to be doing right now is going to be playing some games on this. I'm going to show you guys uh, how it runs in the real world. So, um, be right back. Okay, so guys, I tried to get the camera as close as possible to the screen itself so that you guys can see a bit better. And I have closed all the uh, tasks like Cinebench and things like that. I've closed them. I've added a power to the laptop and also added a USB mice. To the laptop itself that's about it i'm also going to be enabling mfsi afterburner so that you guys can see the overlay now it doesn't work for um you know some of the games so here are the games which i'm going to be running uh for those people who are asking if valorant works um at this point of time for the amount of uh, time i have spent on it uh it doesn't seem to be working and i'm i'm basically getting this error so if i and I'll just sign in. Okay, so I just signed in and uh, let's click on this play button whenever this guy feels like he's ready. And yeah, basically I get this um, error over here. That is the, if you see this, it is called uh, D39 uh, compatible GPU feature 11 shader model 5.0 uh, is required to run this engine. So that's basically the issue I get while uh, running Valorant. I tried to resolve this uh, as much as I can for the amount of time I had. And uh, if I get this working, I will make an updated video if possible. But for now, uh, Valorant does not seem to work. And so that's about that for those who are asking about that. Uh, apart from that, uh, I just wanted to show you guys some of the, um, you know, some of the hardware monitor and basically what is the current temperatures and things like that of the uh, CPU. So let's just check that out quickly. So these are some of the temperatures you can expect uh, from this device itself. So it's around 45, 42, 40 and things like that. And uh, so that's the idle temperature. By the way, uh, my, um, you know, my room temperature is, is not that good. So it will be a little bit hotter uh, compared to if you, you know, have AC or something turned on. So that's about that. 
and now let us uh, play some games so i'm going to be keeping this on this is fine and i'm have msi afterburner um turned on so that's about that so let's play some games so first of all let's start with uh, construct i'm just going to be playing uh, free to play games uh, on this so these are basically the free to play games i could uh, find and which worked well apart from valorant which does not seem to work at this point of time so let's see about it uh let me also uh try to get the fps running i'm not sure if the fps is going to run um so yeah so yeah the fps seems to be running on top which is good so i can just uh, turn this off and let us uh play this game first of all i'm running um uh, you know i have not done any changes this is literally like the bare uh, changes which you can expect from the um from the device itself you can uh, you know reduce the um the graphics and you can get a better result but this is literally just plug and play kind of a thing i've just installed it and i'm going to play and play with it i'm going to also share the settings with you which i am been using so that um, you know you know basically that where i am at this point of time so let me just do that so if you go into video uh these are some of the settings i'm using so if you see so resolution is 1920 by 1200 because it's again it's a 16 by 10 aspect ratio uh full screen uh, this is at high uh, model texture is at low texture streaming disabled uh, multi core rendering enabled msa at 8x again you can all reduce these things to get a much better frame rate uh, than what i get but yeah that's that's on you so i'm just using the default one and that's about it So I'm getting around 43, 44 FPS at this point of time. So let me just uh, there's a lot of tearing. Uh, that's what I'm seeing right now. So let me just uh, play this game. And uh, yeah, so I'm getting around 38, uh, 33 FPS. You can see the choppiness. Let's let's try to reduce uh, the um, you know the um, um, the details itself, and let's see if that uh, improves the FPS. Currently, it's forty five, forty six, and uh, yeah, let's try to do that now. So so that you know, let's get some kind of a thing. So I guess MSA. So we can just make this low. Maybe make this low. Uh, I think this could be the biggest factor. Maybe. and let's just you know for the timing maybe low let's apply the changes i don't know it, maybe it's going to restart i'm not sure it's basically stuck at this point of time okay i guess uh it's stuck literally stuck okay i guess it's going to restart the uh so by the way if you see the cpu is around 66 70 uh degree celsius at this point of time okay so did it increase yeah so my fps is currently oh lord somebody is killing me i'm just going to run away uh fps is around uh, around 94 uh 93 99 fps 96 fps uh, after the reduction of uh, graphics again you can do much better than me you can optimize it more but this is just a it's a look for people who are uh, you know um want to just see what is the current situation like what can you expect uh in terms of um uh, um in terms of gaming on this laptop itself so that's that's all i'm around i'm trying to achieve in this video you can also reduce the resolution itself and you'll get much better games you can even get even 200 i guess uh, let's let's just try that let me just maybe make it to 1068 let's apply the changes this for those people who are really really curious about it so i can just uh, uh, uh boost contrast multi rendering is fine disable disable and filtering is i guess auto is fine for now so i have like the worst resolution and <laughs> let's see how it works uh me practice with bots and let's go it's going to be pretty quick i'm not going to be wasting some too much of time on this because i have other games to uh, go across so let's try to just see this 
because I wanted to be as legit as possible in terms of you know what you can expect. Uh, and I'm getting okay, getting around 180, 187, 169 FPS. I don't know if you can see that. It's basically right over here. Um, it's it's in gray, so that's why it's a bit hard to. Um, to, but it's around 185, 179, 190 FPS. So you can see how smooth uh, the gameplay is. Cool. Uh, let me just quit this and let's move on to the next one. Okay, so the next one is Rocket League. And what I've noticed is that, because I've not playing games for so long, is that um, every free-to-play game is on a different kind of a launcher. Like, you know, there's Epic Game Store, there's Battle.net, um, there's... You play Origin, the Steam. It's it, like, why do you require so many? Like, literally. Okay, so I've just started the game itself. To be honest, I, I really like Rocket League. Like, this is one of the games which I, again, I've not played this game much. I've, this is literally my second time playing this game. Yeah, but I just want to show you guys uh, how it runs and things like that. I don't know. If, did, did they, like, I, I remember in Rocket League, maybe it was running. I'm not sure. I can't show you the FPS by the way, but you can see how smooth it runs because uh, what has happened is that uh, many of the uh, games, they have restricted the use of the MSI afterburner, that afterburner thingy. So it doesn't seem to be, now even if you notice in CSGO, by the way, this is what you can expect. If you see it went on a max of 96 and it's currently at, uh, hovering at uh, 58, 63, things like that. So yeah, uh, as for the settings are concerned, I just want to show you guys what are the settings. So you go to video, it's around, uh, it's not on the highest resolution, it's on 1440. Again, I've not touched anything. This is literally the settings which the game, um, uh, the game directly adds. Basically checks your system itself and it uh, tries to, you know, give you the best bang for the buck kind of a thing. Um, and uh, that's about that. So let's just do that. So that's this is my setting. So resolution is 1440 by 900. You, again, you can increase this if you want. Uh, VSync is disabled. Uh, Anti-aliasing is there. High quality rendering and uh, texture and details and things like that. So you can check this out. And this is basically how it runs. Again, I'm not, I've, I've, literally this is my second time playing this game. But it's really fun by the way. Uh, at least I feel that way. I may not be good at it, but it looks and plays like really well, and I really like how uh, it works. That's pretty good. Cool. Let's move on to the next one. And let me just just close this directly. Again, hovering around 60s uh, with the minimum of 42. Okay. Let's move on to another one that is Genshin Impact. I don't know why the MSI uh, afterburner thing doesn't seems to be coming. Let's see if it, uh, nope, it doesn't come. I don't know what to do. So, so basically how the thing runs. I really hope that I could show you with the FPS counter itself. And uh, if I get it to run, uh, maybe I can, you know, add some screenshots, maybe. But you can see by how it runs, and if you feel that this is good enough for you, um, you know, you can purchase this. Uh, let me just show you the uh, settings itself again. So graphics, uh, it's on the uh, native resolution of 1920 by 1200. FPS is around 30. Maybe you can make it 60. Let's see. And uh, again, these I have not set this up. This is literally uh, how it came. So you can go custom, you can go lowest, and uh, you can go highest and things like that. So medium is default. So let me just show you guys uh, with this. So how it how it runs. So looks this game looks really pretty, like really really pretty. It runs fairly well to be honest with you, even with medium. It, it, it feels very really nice. Cool. Looks very really nice. Let's look at the highest one. Maybe it had been set on high. Let's add that. I don't know. When I first run this game, it was running pretty slow. 
but now it seems to be running pretty fast like it's it's really nice Yes, it does. Okay. Again, this is running on uh, the high settings, and if I maybe go on, um, let's let's move on to low, and I will be changing the HPS to sixty, which is which is it still looks really nice. I really like it. So yeah, this is basically what you can expect from Genshin Impact. It runs really nice. Like this is this is very much playable. Very very much playable. It is really nice. Okay, so the CPU is around 61, 62, and that's about it at this point of time for the uh, CPU hardware monitor is concerned. I don't know why this didn't work. I have no clue why the MSI afterburner uh, seems to be working. Maybe it's just a matter of you know um, because of anti cheat or things like that. Maybe. Cool. Let's just close this up and let's move on to the next one. That is PUBG. Close this up. Hopefully PUBG allows me to show this. Hopefully. Let's see. And then we have Fortnite, Apex Legends also will obviously work because I play this game. And I have League of Legends and Dota. Um, to be honest with you, this one, uh, which I, I think uh, is this one, uh, the Fortnite is, um, this is spoiler alert for those who are wondering, uh, does not work that well. Uh, but PUBG seems to be working pretty nice. Okay, so I get around 60, 60 FPS, 27 FPS, 67 FPS over here. I think this is uh, I think this is uh, the one which I set up uh, using Steam. That's the reason why it's like this. Uh, 116, 1 FPS. I should have set that up a bit better, but uh, yeah, that's about it for now, I guess. Okay, let's play. Uh, let's play with uh, training AI, and I will also show you the uh, graphics itself. Let me just uh, start the game. The fan is spinning quite a bit. If you can, if you can hear that. The game is working. Okay, <laughs> you saw the stutter. But other than that, it seems to be working not too bad. Not too bad. And this is a competitive game, so even if a little bit of stutter and lag is bad, uh, in one way, uh, I'm getting around. I really can't see. Yeah, I'm getting around 53, 55 FPS at this point of time. And let's see the settings itself. So the graphics are at uh, full resolution, uh, lobby cap, basically it's, I guess it's the best one. I'm not sure. Uh, it's around lobby cap, FPS, um, map. I think it's, it's the best, I guess. I'm not sure. Let's, let's just move to the game itself. Seems to be working fairly well. Uh, again, getting around, uh, as I, I mentioned before, is around uh, 49, 47, 45 FPS. So not, not too shabby. Let's escape. Literally, let's die. <laughs> okay, so my camera just died uh, because of overheating. But uh, yeah, basically, I was talking about the PUBG, and I'm getting around 33, 31 FPS. Let's just lower the uh, graphics itself. So let me just. Um, and I don't know, I really have no clue if there's any more settings, but let me just just reduce that to the lowest and let's see how that goes. So I'm getting around 43, 47 FPS at this point of time on the lowest graphics. Uh, let me just uh, try to leave the match and let's just see if I get something else. I'm going to be going through the other games a little bit faster because of the yeah, the overheating issue of the camera itself. So uh, let's see how it goes. And claim I don't I, I I genuinely don't want anything. Cool. Let's just see if we have more settings to tinker around with. Uh, this is that's literally it. Uh, borderless enable. Ah, uh, here we go. Here's the advanced settings. Wow, it's literally on the lowest settings available. Cool. So on the lowest settings available, <laughs> let us just play this game quickly. So 
So it's just literally on the lowest settings and I'm getting around, uh, I don't know, around 60 FPS in the lobby. I'm not too shabby. I don't know why I'm punching people. I'm just waiting for the match to start. Let's play the match for another 30 seconds or so, so that uh, we can, you know, just evaluate this a bit better. Again, this is on the lowest setting available. It's running around 67, 61, 58, uh, around over there, FPS. 59, 57, 59. Again, not too shabby. Not too shabby. Let's eject. Let's move. I'm just going to move. Let's see if I die. I'm not sure. Let's see if I don't deploy. I'm going to deploy at some point of time. Let's see what happens. Running around 38, 39 FPS. I guess it auto deploys. And let's do a fast descent because. Let's just try to kill him maybe. Cool. Getting around 50, 50 FPS, 47, 50 FPS at this point of time. Uh, maybe someone is going to kill me. Now where the hell that guy is? Maybe kill him with 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 fist, with the iron fist. Cool. So yeah, 42, 43 FPS uh, running. Again, it is playable if you. Um, can uh, lower the graphics. It's currently on the lowest. So that's basically what you can expect from PUBG itself. Let's move on to the next one. Okay, so now let's move on to Fortnite. Fortnite was one which was giving me a lot of issues while uh, setting this up. Uh, I'm not sure if, even if it's going to run right now. Uh, let's hope it does. Again, I'm not going to play much of it. Uh, it's just going to be as fast as possible, just turning it on, uh, checking if it works or not, and uh, moving forward to the next one. Uh, that is Apex Legend, and then uh, we can take these up, uh, League of Legends Dota. I don't know, maybe I will just show you guys League of Legends, because I guess it's more popular in Dota. I'm not particularly sure. But uh, yeah, let's see. So let the game start. It takes a sweet time to start, to be honest with you. Like the amount of times I've seen this game just straight off crash is quite a lot. Uh, it was because I changed the resolution or something and it just bugged out. And so I had to, you know, delete the user file itself. So I had to do that. But uh, other than that, let's see how it works right now. And what you can expect from uh, Fortnite on the integrated graphics and with the Intel 12th generation. Let's see, let's see. So I'm just logged in. Just show you the uh, current graphics, uh, the specs. Okay, okay, okay. No, I don't want to see close. Okay, okay. Never show this again. Cool. So let me just do that. Let me just go to settings. And these are my settings at this point of time. Uh, I'm on window full screen. Uh, the full resolution. Does the resolution VSync is off? Frame rate is unlimited. Graphics. Uh, graphic quality is auto set to medium. Let's, let's just make it low because I know for a fact that it doesn't run that well. Let's apply. Hopefully it doesn't. Yeah. So let's play the game. I'm really not sure why the overlay of my uh, MSI Afterburner is not showing up for any of the games. Like literally for any of the games, even when it's turned on. I'm really not sure. But hopefully you get the gist of it, how things are running, hopefully. This is not on Steam, so that's the reason why the FPS counter is not coming uh, for this game itself. Uh, so even my fallback uh, doesn't work for this game itself. But hopefully you can see how good or well, uh, you know, how good it runs. By the way, Attack on Titans, pretty cool. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, so I just restarted the game itself. Um, it bugged out on me again. 
and let's change the map i guess let's see if i get something a bit better okay new practice i don't know let's see let's play okay cool so the game has started that's good uh i have no clue what the fps is i have seriously have no clue but it looks it, it feels pretty smooth i guess it, still have to wait for players okay let me just leave this lobby guess we require more players for this okay let me just uh, see a good one let's see new practice i don't know man uh let's just go fun island maybe let's just see i get something i just want to play the game man <laughs> the problem with the previous game was first of all first time it bugged out second time uh oh yeah see this it bugged out so that error message which came in it bugged out uh at least i just want to show you guys how it runs but it just bugged out back again yeah let me start it off back again shall we okay so i just cleared the user settings back again so whenever i go to change anything any settings or anything uh, maybe after one to two games it just bugs out Hopefully, let's see. Let's see if it works. So it's finding the best settings for me. Hopefully, it gets the best settings for me. Hopefully. Just hopefully. Cool. Skip. I really don't care about any of these things. Skip, skip, skip. Skip, skip. Skip, skip, play. Cool. So let's just... Uh, Okay, let's see what happens over here. Hopefully this time it works. So, yep, it seems to be working. As you see, it's running like so bad. So bad. Like that's, that's, that's really, really bad. Okay. Let's see. Maybe that was just a loading time. Space to jump. I've noticed one thing. Even PUBG, Fortnite, I guess they are from the same time. But everybody's doing the same nonsense of just going down and, you know, killing each other. I know it's Battle Royale, but uh, yeah. Yeah, the FPS is not so good, in my honest opinion. Like, it's, it's, it's chugging, man. It's literally chugging. Like, pretty bad. Again, kind of playable, I would say. But if you're going to play this competitively, uh, I wouldn't suggest playing this game. So, mm, mm, it chucks from time to time. Let's just try to uh, reduce the graphics from here. Again, this may stop working uh, after I do this. So, hopefully it doesn't. Let's see. Let's apply. Maybe that increases. Oh God, see how bad it works, man. Like it is playable to an extent, but God damn it, it's bad. Okay, let's see. Oh, I can't change this though. Uh, 30 FPS, let's put an unlimited frame rate. Let's just reduce this to off. And whatever I can do to make this okay, this feels a lot better than before, like a lot better. But yes, it does have that little bit of jit jitteriness if you see, a little bit of lag. But oh god, okay, ah, I, I think that's about it. Uh, if you're gonna play Fortnite, I don't know, it may not be that good. Let's move on to the next game. Yep, and then I get a crash. That's pretty bad. Uh, roughly it was running around 70 degrees. Now currently because I've closed it down, it's around 58, but it was running on 70-ish. Around over there. Okay, so let's move on to the next one. Uh, I'm not going to be playing Apex for now. Let's move on to the lighter ones now. Uh, like Osu, League of Legends and Dota 2. 
So I'm going to go quickly uh, with all these three uh, because, um, you know, uh, they are pretty, pretty light titles. And these are the games which you really need to play, like these kind of games, if you can. Let me just play this. Uh, let me just show you the settings quickly. Uh, user interface, graphics. So full screen, UI scaling, uh, direct X11, show FPS meter. That's about it. There's literally nothing. Okay, let me just take the triangles. So I'm getting around uh, 300, 500 FPS as per the OX2 thing is concerned over here. I'm not going to be playing the whole game. Just to show you guys that these are the games which you really, really need to play. And again, that's not everyone's cup of tea. Like nobody wants to play rhythm type games on their laptop. But yeah, you, you can. I'm getting around uh, 120. I'm not. I'm literally not not looking at the map. But around 70, 70, 60 FPS. I don't know. Around, around, around basically around, it hovers around 70, 80 to 100. I'm not playing that well because I'm trying to look at the FPS counter. Uh, but yeah, around 70, 80. That, that's, that's what you can expect. Again, the, oh god, I'm, I'm literally not even looking at it. Okay, forget it. But yeah. But you can expect that. So that's about that for Osu is concerned. So you can play Osu, not not an issue. Okay, let's move on to League of Legends now. Okay, this is going to be a little bit rude, but I'm going to be just playing for a few seconds to a minute or so. Uh, currently the thing is around 54. I don't know why it's running on window mode. I have no clue. Okay, maybe now it's going full screen. Yes, it is. Pretty good. Okay, it's loading right now. Okay, so it just loaded. And uh, again, I don't have the FPS counter for you guys. And I have no clue how this game works. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. So I can use the right click. It looks really smooth, by the way. Like, extremely smooth. It's really nice. What can I do over here? I have no clue. Okay, I think his... Uh, by the way, as per settings are concerned, I am running on 1920 by 1200 full width and this is running on medium, medium, medium kind of a thing. So it's running on medium graphics. Uh, frame cap is at 240. I'm not sure. Okay, I'm getting an FPS of 202. It's really cool. Let's run it on very high. Let's see how it runs. I know. Yeah, cool. So on very high, it's running on 187, 183 FPS. If you see over here. So yeah, I did. But uh, yeah, league, league runs really well. No issues at all. Maybe when, you know, there's a lot of people, uh, maybe it will run a bit uh, slower, but I think so. This is really good. 150 FPS is really nice. See over here. Not too shabby, man. Not too shabby. I'm going to die, by the way, uh, because I've never, ever played this game uh, before. It looks really nice, though. It looks very really pretty. I have no clue how this game works. Maybe it auto auto kills. It feels like it. Again, I'm getting around 143, 145 FPS, which is really nice. I died. But yeah, that's about it. Cool, let's start with Dota 2. Cool. I'm just finding a match for me. As far as my settings are concerned, uh I'm on basic settings at this point of time. Um so just a little better than fastest i can increase it maybe to best and let's see how it runs i don't know is there a save option maybe it auto saves looks like it is auto saving pretty cool 
these kind of games run really well no issue at all fps is around 110 118 fps as per steam is concerned over here head over here 120 again this is not the game itself this is the game So I'm getting around 79, 69 on the intro. So I'm getting 116, 118 FPS. Let's just move forward. Okay. Can't I just go that side? I'm such a noob. I have no clue why I can't go anywhere. Is it? Oh, okay, cool. It's just a matter that I was not using the mouse. Such a no. So, on a. Okay. Let's move here. Let's try to get to the. Okay, I'm getting killed. Cool. Oh, I died. Wow. I guess I died. Yep, I'm dead. But yeah, around 111, 112. Let's move to the uh, better resolution. Let's move on to best looking and let's see what kind of FPS are we getting. Around 60, 61 FPS at this point of time. It's a little bit uh, on the jittery side, if I'm really being honest. But this is the best resolution, I guess. Cool. He is coming on his way, I guess. Where the hell he is? Cool. So, yeah, getting around 40, 46 FPS. Let's go to the battlefield. Let's try to kill people. Again, getting around 43, 43 FPS. So, yeah, yeah this you can run this game pretty well. Not too shabby at all. You know, in this game as well as it gets. I may just die right now, but I really don't care. <laughs> cool. Let's let's move on to the next one. Okay, so the last one which I'm gonna be trying out is uh, Apex Legends. And yeah, that's about it, I guess. This video will be a bit on the longer side because um, you know this is me trying literally uh, some of the games for the first time itself and uh, so telling you guys how it runs on the laptop itself surprisingly speaking to be honest with you i know this is integrated graphics and it shouldn't run that well but you know most of the games you still can run on this uh, laptop itself which is pretty fascinating and surprising in one way okay so this is my thing let me just show you the Currently 53 FPS. I'm not sure where the settings are. There we go. Settings and video. And I'm on uh, 1280 by 768. Let's move on to restore defaults. So these are the defaults I'm getting over here. Triple buffered. Um, texture filtering. Uh, this is low, low, disable. And effects on low and impact marks and ragdolls on high. So yeah, let's uh, apply and let's start the match. I guess I'm just going to play uh, training. No, I guess I can just do lagging, I guess. Let's do this. Cool. Okay, it's not running that good. Like this is very bad. Extremely bad. Like, see this, it literally chops quite a lot. Whew. Okay, let's try to reduce the settings itself. Like, this is bad. Very bad. Oh, uh, okay. Let's try to disable, disable. Oh, insane. None. Let's try to disable, disable, and apply. Okay. 
yeah now it's running much better again getting around 42 45 fps again if you really really want to play games you can play games on this yeah so i'm getting around 44 47 fps over here uh again this is in training mode but still and it's on kind of low graphics and even the lower resolution but you can play this game which is which is really nice so yeah so that's about it for the um gaming and benchmark test hopefully you guys um enjoy the video i know it was a bit too long of a video uh just for benchmarking and gaming but um, that's literally the amount of time it took for me to make this video so for the most part i did try to cut off as much as i can uh the thing is that i really don't like to cut off from the video itself because uh, you know i try to keep it as genuine as possible in terms of you know uh, what you, what what you really can expect or what are the times uh, it takes to use this laptop itself like so that was the whole point of the thing itself so yeah guys so this episode of guys thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video bye for now